If you want to create your own personal dashboard, you can first select New. There are a few different layouts that you can choose from, so we're going to select the two column and then press Create. There are four different options for what you can display within your custom dashboard. You can display a chart, a list, an iframe, or a web resource. So first, for our custom dashboard, we're going to choose to display a chart. So the record type would be an opportunity. And it'll be a sales pipeline. Then we'll display a list of all activities. And even though the information is invisible from here, once we finish editing this dashboard, it'll be visible. So an example of an iframe that we could insert would be displaying content from another website. An example of a web resource would be inserting an image. But for now, we'll just leave it like this and we'll name it save and close. So now if you want to look at all the system dashboards as well as my dashboards you can click on this arrow here and you can see that the custom dashboard we have just made is underneath the heading of my dashboards. To set this dashboard as your default, meaning that you see this dashboard as soon as you sign in, you can just go to the top and click set as default. 